what we in Africa see happening in other parts of the world is that the natural family is disappearing as a result of trivialization of sex. Sex has become something casual. The sexualization of the media. The fact that political correctness has been allowed to prevail over truth. The misunderstanding or misrepresentation of freedom and responsibility the need for immediate gratification and the rebellion against all forms of authority, including parental authority and the authority of the church. And unfortunately in Nigeria, where I come from, we have these fundamentalists, the Boko Haram, I'm sure you've heard about them in the news, bombing churches. They seem to be helping some people in Western countries who are out to silence Christians. The Boko Haram, are targeting Christians in Nigeria. And so you wonder if there's a conspiracy between the two worlds, you know. And then also mentioning a little bit about the attacks on the natural family, which has actually driven countries like Nigeria, Ghana, Uganda, to mention a few, to actually put in place a ban on homosexual unions with due respect to anyone who may take offense but we've been pushed to the wall and so governments in our country felt there was a need to ban all form of gravitation towards homosexual union because it's seen as a threat to the natural family and also undermines parental authority and the rights of a child the special status given to the family in Africa and elsewhere lies in its inherent powers to, uh, and responsibility for procreation. And that's why uh, someone asked and said, well, uh, could this be another ploy to depopulate Africa? The fact that Africa is being asked to adopt uh, uh, gay marriages, is that another ploy to depopulate Africa?